in this training session, we're going to look at the influence of a sales order. In other words, if we go to processing, we select sales order. I've got a sales order here that has single can of Coke in the sales order and the quantity is 10. So what I want to do is I'm going to take you to stock inquiries and we're going to look at this item specifically. So I'm going to close my sales order and I'm going to say stock inquiries. Here I'm going to double click on my single Coke. So we can see that we've got 99 on hand. I've got 20 of this single can of Coke in a sales order. I've got 13 in a purchase orders available and work in progress. I've got 10. In other words, work in progress is job cards. But what I want to show you is this option down here. Show available. If I click on my item and I say show available, it automatically change to 69. So in other words, I only have 69 items to sell. So what it will do is it will take 99 minus 20 minus 10 and that will give me 69 items that I can sell. So I can jump between show available and show on hand. And that will conclude looking at the influence a sales order has on stock inquiries.